Hi everybody! It's an amazing day around here. The sun has come out. I am a photon powered human and when the sun is not out, I'm not good for much. <laughs> so today I'm soaking it up. I'm recharging my batteries. And this afternoon, I decided that I could do something again besides sit in front of the, the wood stove and read. <laughs> Hiking always helps too. So we always hike in the gray and that always makes me feel better. And I'm so grateful for that because if I didn't have hiking, honestly, I don't know what I would do. But okay, so we have exciting news and a good reminder of things to do ahead of time. So if you are into land restoration, as we all should be and we all will be, I have no doubt about it, be mindful of inviting the birds back because they cannot see glass currently. There is bird friendly glass in the works, which is really wonderful to know about because the bird strikes we've had on the windows here it has just been ridiculous. And it's all because there's great habitat, which is absolutely essential. And then there's glass that they can't see because there's such a wonderful reflection in the glass of all of the new habitat. So I'm not saying don't restore habitat. I'm saying take care of your windows, okay? Because that's what needs to happen. So until the bird safe glass comes out, I've done videos before. Here we go, look, bird tape. Can you see it? So four inch spacing maximum. And on these windows, I think that's sufficient. We had one bird death here on this camper and it was right here and it totally sucked it was a male cardinal and they were in these dogwoods and service berries and there's no reason that they should have died on this glass i needed to get my act together ahead of time i'm always one step behind but i'm working on it everybody working on it so we've got bird tape on here now and we've got it on most of our house windows and that's just a reminder stay ahead of the game everybody <laughs> but this is the camper we took last year to big bend and we have this big camper i know it's not big compared to some but it's definitely big compared to what steve and i usually camp in and we got it because we took our three cats with us and it worked really well. We were gone for two months. Some things were challenging, like our cat Luke loved to cry every single night. And so I ended up sleeping in the back of our truck a whole lot so that I could sleep. <laughs> but we all made it back to Ohio in one piece and we got out and we explored and we chased Son. And it wasn't as easy as you think it would be, even heading west, southwest. So the sun. Oh, how I love the sun. But this year we decided to stay here because I'm working on a book about restoration and exploration, which is really exciting. It's been brewing for years on paper and in my mind, and it's finally getting into the computer. So I'm working on that, and I need these days to actually want to stay inside. So it's definitely a balance because I am photon powered and if I get too down, I can't write. <laughs> but if I have that happy medium where I don't wanna be outside every single second because maybe it's cold, then I get some good writing time in. So I'm taking what I can get. And what we're using this camper for is clearly not going Southwest this year but it is going to be our field station because we bought 10.2 acres in Southern Ohio. And I've hinted at that in multiple places via our blog and I think on a video or two. And we're gonna put this down there for now, this camper to act as, yes, our field station. So we have some comfort in inclement weather. We're gonna work on restoration 
down there and that land is definitely planned for preservation. So we're currently paying on a loan on it and once we pay it off, we will have that property with us for who knows how long, but it will be going to the Ark of Appalachia. They're an incredible nonprofit doing such needed conservation work in Ohio. And there's multiple groups working really hard throughout this state and all over this country. And those groups are, oh my gosh, we're just so grateful for those groups because they're so needed. I'm going to put a link to a podcast I listened to on restoration so that you can hear it and be inspired. So what do you think about this camper? Do you think it's gonna work as a field station down there? I think so. And then it's not permanent, and so we can sell it in the future. We can take it on more trips if we decide to go with the cats again. If it's just me and Steve, we'll probably just take our vehicle or our backpacks or both. But it's a really lovely option for us to be able to go park down there on this 10.2 acres that has a lot of invasive plants but also so many great plants and we can work in some comfort we can work in inclement weather we can have a nice place to stay and we're not building anything there and so it can just be nature and it feels like the best option it's really exciting for us and then also there's a lot of nice hiking in southern ohio that we've done less of because we live in more in northern ohio and so as you all know we hike a lot at mohican state park state forest because that's within 45 minutes and we want to be able to do some more exploration of this state because you know we we have wanderlust in a really big way and it extends everywhere and so we always like to get to know where we're living as well so bird tape i'll put a link i'll put a link to the society for ecological restorations podcast and i'll put a link for arc of appalachia in the description and i think that's all i mentioned the book will be forthcoming it will come along as it comes along as this photon powered girl ha is inspired and I'll keep you posted on that. We hope you all are well. Thanks for watching. Take care of you.